All right, guys, so sticking on the topic of the San Jose Sharks, they also do sign forward Matt Nieto to a one-year 700000 deal, just like with Patrick Marlowe. And with Nieto, I'm a little bit surprised that he took only 700000 I thought he was a guy that could have got maybe $1.5 to $1.8 million, somewhere around there, considering the fact that he did score eight goals and 13 assists for 21 points and 70 games played. I think, though, for the Sharks, this is a really smart signing, and maybe Nieto gets less just because of the way the market is now. Guys, I think, are getting a little bit less than they might have in a normal year just with everything that's gone on, with the league shutting down back in March for a while, and that obviously hurting the finances of the league in general. Matt Nieto, as the player, though, adds great speed, and he adds a little bit of offense, not that much, though. But he does add great penalty killing ability, something the Sharks do need some more of, some more good defensive depth as well, up and down their lineup. They needed that, I felt, because they weren't one of the best teams defensively last year, even though their penalty killing was okay, actually. But Matt Nieto, he, he's back in San Jose. We, let's remember the Sharks did lose him on waivers to Colorado in the 16-17 season. Obviously, he's really rebounded and he's gained Doug Wilson's respect back, and that's why he gets this deal from him here today. Well, guys, there's still a few moves left to be made in free agency here. We obviously know Mike Hoffman's still on the table, Alex Galchenyuk still on the table, and a few other notable names. But where does Mike Hoffman most notably land? I mean, is it Colorado, perhaps? Maybe that's why the Avalanche have been so quiet. They're talking with Hoffman, perhaps. Who knows? Imagine him playing on the Avalanche with Nathan McKinnon and Gabriel Landeskog and Miko Rantanen and Kadri and all those guys. I mean, he's already a 30-goal scorer on his own, so who knows what he would be with that team. But that's all I have to say for now, guys. Please like and subscribe and share this video, and I'll talk to you again soon.